great morning, my extremely great champions. Hope you're all feeling massive amounts of love, passion, and purpose. Today we're gonna to go on a fun family cruise around the city and find out how to attract that, that true love, that real love, that fairy tale love, that same love that we all grew up feeling was true. But as life went by, stop believing was possible. And if you don't know who we are, I'm Ryan, this is my vlog. Kenzo, my son, the greatest champion in the world. Lalita, my wife, the best thing that's ever happened to me. And we here in Thailand, living our dream, making videos every single day. And all we want to do is have mad fun together, make you feel great and share our story with you. So smash that subscribe button and let's take it to the next level. What I love so much about staying here is although we're in the middle of the city, here it's like super zen and super quiet. You know, see that river in the back there? Normally there's a, actually it's coming right now. You see that boat? Wait. You see the boat? That's a boat taxi and it's just such an amazing thing for me coming from like the western world to see people actually going to and from work on an actual boat. So although we're here and there's buses and there's taxis and there's trains, it's still very very quiet and normally, okay other than the engine of the boat, normally you can just hear the sounds of birds. And the other thing is the convenience factor here is massive. I used to train at another gym where I had to go with the taxi and then come back. But now all I do is I train there, go to gym in the corner, so I come down in the elevator, go train there, go do yoga there. I do my, my energy setting and the goal setting for the day there. And that's how I start every single day. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Every single morning, this is the first stop that we make. It's always first on the agenda. Come and get fresh ingredients for the fresh new day. So here they have everything from vegetables, to fresh snakes as you saw in the last video to like all different kinds of rice you know in Thailand this is the, the land of rice so you got fl flavored rices you got colorful rices and then of course if you don't want to get like fresh fruit and fresh rice uh, fresh meat you could just stop right here at the restaurant and just have them cook your fresh food for you <laughs> Let us first establish what true love is not. True love is not having to make the relationship work because when love is real, it flows easier than a good day. True love is not having to ask your partner to specifically make them make you their profile picture on Facebook because if they really love you they'll be only too proud to show you off. True love is not having to ask him to buy you things because if he really loves you it will be his greatest joy to spend all of his money on you. True love is not having to ask for sex because when the love is real the sex is so addictive from both sides. True love is not spending time away from each other unless you absolutely have to because when the love is real neither side would even consider spending time away from each other because when the love is that real things that don't contain each other feel awful and boring without that other person love when it's done right when it's real feels as though you've been born all over again no feeling in the whole world even comes close to it everything looks better tastes better feels better and is a whole lot more exciting and that's why they say there's no, no pain in the world like heartbreak from begging for the relationship status to be added to Facebook to begging to be included in activities, to even begging for sex, I have done it all. And take it from me, that if your relationship resembles anything even similar to what I just explained, stop and walk away today and never look back because that is not true love. Now that we know what true love is not, let's have a look at what true love is. True love is your girl fighting with anyone that puts you down. True love is your girl loving you so much and loving you through thick and thin to the extent that when you don't even have enough money to buy an iPad for the new hotel review business that you want to do, she dips in and buys you the iPad using your own money. True love is preparing each other's toothbrush and slippers every single time you shower. Not because it's expected, but because you want to make that person feel special. Kind of like when you go for that run and you seek out the most perfect flower, you pick them the most perfect flower just because you want to, you want to make them smile. True love is sleeping in the same bed every single night for three years, yet waking up every single morning so damn excited to see each other. And finally, true love is that indescribably amazing feeling of knowing no matter what happens and what comes your guy's way, 
you all as one million percent stand by each other's side. Come baby. Yay, come, come, come. That said, here are my four personal ingredients which I use to find true love. Number one is get happy and get your own life together. Meaning, wherever you are vibrationally, that is where you're going to be attracting from. For example, if you're going through your crystal meth phase, the chances are extremely great that you're going to be attracting a girl or a boy that enjoys a bit of the glass pipe now and again, which is going to definitely result in a very erratic and volatile relationship. Similarly, if you're going through your gym phase or your, your church phase or your law of attraction phase, the chances are pretty great that you're going to be attracting you know, someone that's into church or gym or the law of attraction, which is exactly what you want. Number two is get specific. Take the time to get a pen and paper and write down exactly what you're looking for. Color hair, color eyes, personality, shared interests. Because at the end of the day, how can you attract perfect love if you don't know exactly what it is that you're looking for? Number three is raise your standards. Now that you know exactly what it is that you want, have the courage to say no to anything and everything that comes along that is not an exact match to what you wrote down. Even if it means being alone for six months or a year, don't be that person, you know, the guy or the girl that goes home with just anyone or anything because you're too scared of being alone. Rather be alone than be with someone that doesn't make you feel exactly how you want to feel. Number four is stop trying to make it happen. Stop trying to control everything. Just allow, allow, allow. Trust me on this. The best things that happen are the things that happen when you're not looking. The best things that happen in, in, in your life are the things that happen when you least expect it. Guys, that is the vlog for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Join the happiness movement. Smile at strangers. Compliment everyone. Be a champion. Be different. Be phenomenal. See you tomorrow.